Y'all, that food was everything, okay? So this is the slutty vegan, and I'm not finna eat there. <laughs> I'm finna eat at this place called Greens and Gravy. But look at the line. Y'all, this don't even do it justice. The line is like wrapped all the way down the street. And y'all want me to eat here? How? So full, full, and I still got homework to do. I'm ready for bed. That food was so good. Like people were clowning me because I said I didn't really like old lady gang, but greens and gravy. And I'll talk about that in another and gravy. And then greens and gravy is right next to the slutty vegan. Somebody said that they wanted me to do a review on the slutty vegan. I'm gonna have to go like during the week. That place line was down the street. Like I have to go when I'm not hungry and I'm in the mood cause yeah, that just ain't it. So anyway, y'all that food was everything, okay? Like people clown me for not liking old lady gang, but I, oh, if you're in the Atlanta area and you have not been to Greens and Gravy on, David David Abernathy, you're you don't even know what soul food is. Like if you you don't know what soul food is, and I, then I'm convinced that you just talking at the side of your neck. Like a lot of people were coming for me for that old lady gang review. Like it's not that I'm hating on Candy. I think Candy is an amazing business owner. She's an amazing black woman. People are coming for saying that I'm like against black women, all that and the other. That's why I wanted to go because I support black owned businesses. So, but anyway, greens, hell, and gravy. So, we got like usually when we try a new restaurant, we just kind of get everything like that we want to try. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. So, my aunt got the butter. No, it was like butter pecan cornbread. I don't eat cornbread, but I did taste it. It was good for what it was. I don't eat cornbread. Cornbread has a texture that I just can't get with, but it was good. She loved it. And like, I have video of her, like, <laughs> she, that cornbread had, gave her her life. And I had got the shrimp and crab deviled eggs. Y'all, and for the prices, like that was $14. They could easily upcharge that, that, that appetizer. Like, <sighs> 
my soul cries. They make you want to start singing Oh Negro Spirituals. That food was bomb. So after we had our appetite, then it had red and grape Kool-Aid. Red and grape Kool-Aid. Wasn't too sweet. I thought it was going to be super sweet. But I got the red Kool-Aid. And that's what it's called on the menu. Red Kool-Aid. You know that's black. You know we be like, you got some of that red Kool-Aid. I don't care if it's cherry, strawberry, whatever. People gonna say red. So I thought that was really cute. Um, so for my entree, I got the smothered pork chops. Now, of course, all this will be on the screen. Smothered pork chops. It comes with a butter biscuit. Plus, I got greens and macaroni and cheese. When I tell you, the greens were okay. The greens aren't, you know, the best greens I've had, but they were really still good. <sighs> that mac and cheese and them pork chops were busting. That's what my boyfriend be saying. He be like, it be busting. It was so good. And then my aunt got the fried chicken. Like when I say, okay, hell, back to the pork chops. Two big pork chops. Two. With the gravy smothered fried mac and cheese and a little skillet, little cast iron. It was so, 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 so good. So my aunt, because we want to get different things. And we got to go back because I want to try the fish. I want to try the shrimp and grits. I want to try everything. My aunt got the chicken, fried chicken. It comes with four big pieces of chicken. Like, nobody in that restaurant that was eating could finish it. Like, I have a whole bunch of food left over. So... Four pieces of chicken. She got the mashed sweet potatoes, which they were good. They were just really sweet. They were more like candy yams. Um, she got the greens, and then she had roasted, bacon roasted Brussels sprouts. Those were good. Um, and, like, we just picked off each other's plates, like, because we want to try everything. And it was, like, a couple sitting next. I think there were a couple. There was a young man and a young lady sitting next to us. I wish I could have got them on camera. Like, that was, I think, their first time there, too. And the guy had us cracking up. Because he just was, he was making love. He was serenading that food. Okay? It was speaking to him on a spiritual level. And then after that, we got the dessert. Y'all. That, from the appetizers to the dessert... That cake, I had no, I got like peach cobbler, but it was like a cake with the fresh, pre it was real peaches. It was a homemade, car like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I got a picture of it, a video. My aunt had got this thing called brown sugar baby. I don't even know what it was, but it was crunchy, but it was soft and it was just scrumptious, y'all. was scrumptious. So, if you're ever in Atlanta, make sure you... Head down to David Abernathy. It's in Atlanta. Like, Atlanta, Atlanta. And then, hopefully sometime this week or next week, I make it down to the Slutty Vegan. The Slutty Vegan is right next door to it. And I was going to go ahead and, like, jump in line and grab a burger for, like, later that I could do a review. And y'all will see, I took a video. That line was down the street. Like, and they go in, like... It was too much. So I was like, the way my stomach was set up, I hadn't ate all day. So I was like, I'll have to go to Slutty Vegan and review it when I've ate and I'm chilling and I'm not in a good mood and I'm not annoyed because I would be annoyed because you're going to stand in line for about one to two hours, if not more. So I'm going to try to go during the week when I think it's not too, too busy. I think like right now it's the hot thing. So it's going to be busy. Um... So, y'all, don't be coming down for me in the comments because I, I clap back. Like, under that dang old lady gang video, y'all really tried it. Y'all tried me, and I kept, I'm going a, I'm to a comment back because guess what? I'm a teacher, I'm on summer break, and I got time. Find somebody else to play with, okay? And I don't know why I'm so high right now, y'all. I don't know what's going on with me. I'm usually not like this. I think because I'm sleepy and I'm just got stuff to do. All right, I'm out. Peace.